in the country because the recent opinion poll survey of the upcoming mayoral in Chiapas elections reveals that the main opposition United Democratic Party is likely to win the seats of KMC, Banjul West Coast Region, and Mansa Kankwa, respectively. Now, however, the survey could not fully ascertain the absolute win in the Banjul and West Coast Region due to the high percentage of undesired voters. Maria Macham again has more details of that in this report. Mayor Talib Ben Souda on the upper hand asked 50% of the respondents intend to vote for him, while 28% of the respondents intend to vote for Bakari Baji, with 27% of undecided voters. This indicates that Mayor Ben Souda is more favored to win the elections than his competitor Bakari Baji in the upcoming mayoral elections in KM. For Banjul, despite having a concerned majority of 52% of undecided voters, the United Democratic Party's Rohi Malik Lo takes the lead as the majority 26 intend to vote for her, making her the front runner, while 23% intend to vote for her opponent, NPP's Ibu Fai. As of the most heated areas in terms of the coming elections, Verkama is another area where the survey could not predict the likely winner due to nearly half 48% of the respondents being either undecided or preferring to keep their intentions secret. However, the United Democratic Party's candidate, Yanko Badabo, currently holds a considerable level of support at 23%. Challenging the UDP's dominance is the National People's Party candidate, Sidi Siruf Sisei, who has generated 22% support. With the results for the intention to vote unlikely to win contradicting, as well as a high proportion of undecided and secret voters, the survey could not exactly decide on the likely winner in Birkama. Meanwhile, in Mansakonko in the Upper River region, UDP's Landing Sane leads on intention to vote at 32%, followed by NPP's Keba Dem at 28%. Taking center stage in the opinion polls race is the United Democratic Party candidate landing B. Sane with 39% support. However, the battle for Mansakonko Area Council is far from one-sided. The situation remains fluid, with a significant percentage of respondents, 35%, unable to determine the likely winner. The MPP's candidate follows landing Sane close at 28%. However, the large number of undecided secret voters means that the survey cannot predict the outcome of the election. If these results are to be reflected in the Saturday elections, the main opposition United Democratic Party may still hold the upper hand of local governance in the Gambia, including the just concluded councillors' elections. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariam. <laughs>